I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to take a look to an open source tool that can help you manage your SSH connection, your RDP connection or VNC connection easily with the help of an uh, UI that can be accessed over the internet. The tool is free and it will uh, help you manage easier your connections and uh, let's go and check the, the tool. So this tool is called the next term. So um, in here you see that I have already have it installed and it's using one of my subdomains and this is the interface in here I configure for testing purposes and SSH configuration and uh, VNC configuration tried with my book air but it didn't work I don't know if it is from this tool or for from my MacBook configuration, I need to try it some more on some Windows configuration for SSH configuration. In here you see that uh, this is the configuration. So for instance, if you want to connect over SSH, just double, double click in here and then you'll have the terminal and you can start running commands like this. And uh, yeah, you can add the different servers in, in here. And if you want to go for Windows, for instance, you can double click like this. And right now you will be pointing, you will uh, go to the Windows RDP connection. So you see in here that uh, right now I have the connections to my Windows that it's working in, in the browser and I can access my uh, server or my laptop from, from the other room. This tool is uh, quite new and it may have some problems in the, in the beginning. So Let's check some of uh, the things. So if you want to add a new SSH configurations, for instance, you can do that in here. In here you can create folders, you can rename them, you can uh, delete them, you can add a server. When you want to create a server, it will be like this. You'll have this interface in here. In here you have the name, you add the IP, you add the port, you have the options, the SSH, RDP and VNC. We're going to, to see how we can do that after we install it. And in here you have the icon. Let me close that. So you can choose from different icons like server, Windows, Linux. In here you have the identities. You have the options to add a username with a password. You can also log in with a key file. Like this, I am connecting to my server. So uh, you can uh, use the keys in here. You have some settings in here that are not implemented and then you can hit create and yeah it's like a very basic interface again the tool is quite new and it's in preview mode right now then you have the settings in this area and in here you have the account details you can enable two-factor authentication if you want and you can change the password in here you have the sessions so you can see what are the active sessions on uh, on on here you can log log them out if you want and right now let's go to their website. So this is their website. It's a basic one. And right now you see that you don't have a lot of details in, in here. You just have the preview thing. It's telling you the options to install this tool with Docker Compose with only a Docker command. And uh, this is their repository. Again, this is uh, a new tool. And from my point of view, it's very nice because for some time I was uh, looking for a tool that can help me me store all the SSH connections that I have. I have like uh, five to 10 servers that I have in various infrastructures. And with the help of this tool, I can uh, administer them in this interface. For some of them, I don't need to log in and do a lot of things in the interface. So with the help of this tool, I can, uh, I can go and uh, manage them easier. So in here, if you want, you can go and uh, add a start to this, uh, to this project because the project is quite new and uh, it needs all the, the help that it can get. And yeah, in here you have some details right now. There aren't a lot of things. Again, this is quite a new new tool that it's act actively worked. As you can see in here right now, it's only open for preview. And if you're going to see in here, like this tool is not for production ready yet. So the developer is still working on the things on, on this tool. And in here you see that you have some missions, but most of them are features that uh, he tries to, to implement. So you can check the repo and give it a star if you think it's uh, it's working for you. So yeah, in this video, we're going to see how you can deploy this tool, how you can add a connection. So I've created an article in here and in here I have all the details. So the first thing that we're going uh, to need is to have a VPS server with Docker installed. And um, you can use your home lab one. For instance, the previous installation, I had it in the Home, uh, home lab so I can access the windows and other 
other PCs from my home lab. We can also use the public IPs to connect to servers. The other one was on there. So in here, I will let some articles and a video how you can uh, configure, for instance, traffic. Another one is to configure with uh, Cloudflare tunnels. So you have all of these articles, including the DocJ installation. And also I will link a video into the description that can help you set this thing uh, up. So yeah, right now, uh, after you have Docker installed and uh, a server for this, you have this configuration. So basically this is configuration, it's altered to work with traffic, to assign it uh, a subdomain and uh, make it make it work. So in here you see that, for instance, you have the restart always, you can change this to, to restart if it's not stop only, it's up to you. In here you have a volume where the application is stored. And in here, this image right now, it's using the next term, open preview. So this is the latest version. This may change, that's why you may want to go in here and see the latest version. And right now you have some labels. So this application is working on 6989 port. That's why I've added in, in here the details. And in here I have added the traffic labels. I made a mistake in here, we need to change the root and uh, we can add the next term in here. And in here I have added the network for traffic also in, in here. So this is a basic configuration. Again, if you don't use traffic, you can go and use the port. You can expose the port like this. So it's up to you. Uh, I use traffic because it's easier to maintain and use. It's also first the options to have wildcard certificate and makes things very easily. And in here, let me go. And the connect, I have the server with DocJ install. If you don't know, DocJ is a tool that can help you manage easier the Docker Compose files. So uh, you can run this uh, also without uh, without DocJ. But yeah, in this case, I'm just using this because it has a nice interface and can be used easily. So in here, we'll just go and create a new Compose file and I'll keep put a name term like this. This is the name. And then we're going to go and copy the details. And what I will do, I will paste them in here and I will change the domain for this. And it will be up with indazia.ro. Uh, this is the one used for this configuration. And in here, I will let everything like this. I will change this to next term. So to reflect the correct details like this, I will save it right now. And uh, right now I should have everything uh, set up. And what we should do is to go and uh, start uh, this. Already the subdomain is pointing to this server. So we should be okay. So right now the image is pulled and uh, it is uh, started. And we should wait for a little time for this to, to work. Okay. So right now everything should be started. And if we go and check and see if this is working, we see that uh, right now this is working and in here you can create an account and I will create my account. Okay. So right now the account is created and I don't have anything in the beginning in here. What I will need to do is to go and create a folder, for instance, for SSH. You can go and create the, the folder in here. You can go create a server after in this. And in here you have the server name like uh, cloudDoze.com. And uh, let me go and fetch the IP address from, from here for this one. Okay, this is the IP address. And then we can go and put the IP address in here. In here, you can change the port and everything. For the identities, you can go and put your username. Root in my case, I will use a key for this. And you can choose a file with the key. Let's go and see where the key it is, like this. And I will hit create. And right now I have the SSH connection. And if you double click it, you'll see that you will be logged in. You can use your username and password. So yeah, that is it. it is to set up uh, this tool. And then you can go and add other servers in here. You can create folders. You can add the 
RDP and VMC. Again, uh, this tool is in the early phases and uh, it looks very nice and uh, it helps me manage easier the connections. In case you liked what you have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, in case you are interested in something, please don't forget to let a comment. Thanks for watching.